Hi students, I am Pavan, your science master. Today I am going to talk to 7th standard students. And can you recollect the points that we talked in the previous class students? What was the topic that we talked in the previous class? Yeah, the topic we started was animal fiber. The fiber we get from animals is animal fiber. Fiber is what? Fine strand like structure. Okay, and what do we call animal hair? Fur. Okay, and we get fiber from animals as well. Okay, we get fiber not only from plants. In your sixth standard, you studied about fiber to fabric chapter, right? In that chapter, you studied we get fiber from different plants, and in this chapter, we study about the fiber we get from animals okay different animals see here the fiber we get from animals can you give some examples of the animals that we get fiber from yes sheep goat silk worms and what else even sometimes we get fiber from yak camels etc okay so students we have started learning about the fiber we get from silk worms the process of getting silk is called what seri culture seri culture is a process where we get fiber silk okay and uh, the culture is you know the culture involves various processes and practices okay and uh, there are uh, so many people involvement ok students and here the first stage of the sericulture is moth to egg moth to egg here in this moth is nothing but silk moth you know eggs are also called as seeds moth it's like a butterfly okay eggs are also called as seeds and but moth is nothing but it's like a butterfly okay students butterfly okay and uh, the scientific name of the moth silk moth okay scientific name of silk moth is bombyx mori remember students the scientific name of silk moth you know the silk moth looks like a butterfly don't think otherwise okay butterfly so the scientific name of silk moth is bombyx mori and the bombyx mori lays eggs do you know in its life cycle a bombyx mori lays how many eggs yes it lays around 500 eggs you 
in its life cycle bomb explosion will lay so many eggs 500 eggs and it dies after laying 500 eggs it dies it dies okay and students uh, there are different places in our state where we uh, practice this sericulture and we purchase eggs from different areas and we purchase this bombex mori or silk moths from different areas of the state okay and yeah one thing that you need to understand this butterflies is this butterfly is also called as chilukalu in our local language what do we call them these butterflies are also called as chilukalu in our local language okay students and in the process of getting silk from silk moths uh, they these moths are taken very much care in a grill mesh boxes okay they are taken care in what grilled mesh boxes silk moths are taken care in separate special rooms they are taken care in grilled mesh boxes okay these silk moths are taken care in grilled mesh boxes in special rooms so uh, the, the the environment is created a suitable environment is created to sustain or to live uh, live uh, to live in safe who the silk moth to live safely they are taken care in a special chambers or special rooms in grill mesh boxes okay they are taken care and they are allowed to lay eggs and that lays around 500 eggs in its life cycle that means in one go and it dies after laying eggs okay and uh, in the process after laying eggs the eggs are allowed to hatch after laying eggs the eggs are <coughs> allowed to hatch in special chambers the arrangement of the chambers are like this you know they the eggs are taken on a white cloth and uh, they are kept on a chopped mulberry leaves you know mulberry leaves what are mulberry leaves mulberry plant you know we get mulberry leaves from a plant called mulberry plant you know leaves are chopped cut down into small pieces eggs are kept on the chopped mulberry leaves and then they are kept in a special rooms okay again they are kept in special rooms and they create an environment to get hatched to get what hatched after the eggs are hatched the next step or next process starts that's the eggs become cocoon what eggs become cocoon and these eggs are also purchased in different places and the place where the eggs are purchased called grainage centers the eggs purchasing center is called grainage centers okay of course the eggs may hatch in the place where they are laid and then the eggs are also sold the different persons from different places of the state come and purchase these eggs as well and then these eggs are taken care in their 
uh, in their special chambers in their local area and then they allow they, they, they create an environment to get hatch in their places in their local areas and then after hatching the eggs what comes out usually yes a worm comes out you know after hatching the egg worm comes out that's nothing but silk worm what is that after hatching the egg a worm comes out of the egg that's silk worm okay and that undergoes transformation it changes its body size by eating the mulberry leaves and you know uh, that becomes like a cocoon and that the story of cocoon we will study in the next class and this is about only the moth to egg and how do we get eggs from moth and what do we call moth and in this video what did we learn moth is nothing but what moth is nothing but butterfly it's like a butterfly okay and eggs are nothing but what seeds seeds you know how the butterflies lay eggs they are taken care in special rooms and they are kept in a grilled mesh boxes and they you know uh, after a few days you know that uh, butterflies lay eggs and the eggs are you know they are allowed to hatch the hatched eggs gives a worm that is called silk worm what is that silk worm this silk worm is nothing but caterpillar what what do you call this caterpillar see before getting these eggs hatched that means before the caterpillar coming out from the egg the eggs are also sold or uh, the people from different places of the state come and purchase these eggs and the places where these eggs are purchased called granage centers what granage centers students in the uh, this is for today students and uh, in the next class we will study about what how eggs become cocoon egg to cocoon and how it happens and how the next process followed by the people at the city culture centers and that all we will study in the next class students and the assignment i would like to give you is to write that what you have listened in your notebook okay moth to egg the process of moth to egg in city culture centers okay thank you for listening thank you one and all